This is lesson 3-1, part 2. In this lesson, we will learn how to determine how many solutions a particular system should have. So if it's a linear system with only two equations, there are three possibilities. One is that there's only one solution. This will occur when your two lines intersect at a single point. That one point is your solution. Another possibility is that you have infinitely many solutions. This occurs when um, your two equations end up representing the exact same line. So you have one line right over top of the other. So they have all their points in common, so you have infinitely many solutions. The third possibility is that there are no solutions, and this happens when your two lines are parallel, so they have no points in common. So we'll do a few examples here. If we want to know how many solutions for example A, um, one way we can do this is to solve each equation um, for y so that it's in slope-intercept form and then compare the slopes and the intercepts. So let me give myself some room. Okay, so we will uh, add 2x to both sides and then divide by 4. So we get y equals um, 2 divided by 4 is 1 half, so 1 half x, and 6 fourths reduces to 3 halves. So the second equation then, we will divide by 8 on each side because we want to solve it for y, so we have slope-intercept form. 4 eighths reduces to 1 half, and 12 eighths reduces to 3 halves. So what we notice here is that we have the same slope right there, but we have different y-intercepts because one is positive and one is negative. So these two lines are parallel, and since they are parallel, they have no solution because they will have no points in common. Okay, in example B, we'll do a similar thing. Um, first equation is already solved for y, so that's convenient. Second equation, subtracting 6x and dividing by negative 3. We get y equals negative 6 divided by negative 3 is positive 2x. 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3x. And what we notice here is that we have the same slope and the same y-intercept, which means these two equations represent the same line, so there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, and so then there's um, examples C and D which you can work out on your own and we will discuss in class.